Hi, my name's Sophie. And I'm Blurk. We're young curators at the Bose Museum, and we've put together an audio description to help you learn all about the artist Dirk Bouts the Elder, and his painting, St Luke Drawing the Virgin and Child, made in his workshop around 1470 to 1480. Dierik Bouts was an artist who was born in or around 1415 in the Netherlands. One of his most famous paintings is an oil depicting Mary the Virgin and baby Jesus along with St Luke. The painting has been dated between 1470 and 1480 and was painted on oak panelling. The interesting thing in my opinion about this painting is the fact that it wasn't actually painted by Bouts himself. It was painted by him as well as some of his apprentices. They created the painting in Boucher's workshop. The painting shows Mary and Jesus sat with St Luke drawing them with a silver point. Within the foreground of the painting, St Luke sits to the right, drawing the Virgin and Child. Luke uses a technique known as silver point to create the underdrawing of the painting, which acts as the original outline. The Virgin Mary sits opposite, looking down at her child wrapped in white linen cloth held in her arm. She holds food for her child in the other. She wears a deep blue dress, a colour often reserved for representations of Mary, due to its rarity and likeliness to the blue sky, which evokes ideas of heaven and purity. In contrast, Luke wears an acorn hat. Its name is given for its resemblance to the shape of an acorn. This hat was part of the contemporary fashion in the 15th century, making Luke more ordinarily dressed in contrast to Mary. Within the middle of the painting, Bouts has revealed details of his artist's workshop. On the left, behind Mary, there is a wall of rich green velvet with gold flowers embroidered. In contrast to the right behind Luke, Bouts offers insights into his creative process. He paints a wooden door open to reveal a canvas sat on an easel, with areas of red paint highlighting beginnings of a painting. On the side windowsill sit delicate mussel shells containing pre-mixed red paint. Throughout the foreground and the middle of the painting, blue and cream tiles are painted in square shapes, with orange and pink octagon shapes in their centre. In the far background of Bouts' workshop is a bench covered in light green cloth. This bench looks out to a large arched windows, created by three red marble pillars. Outside the window is a beautiful scene of vibrant blue sky over a walled city and varying shades of lush green trees in the foreground. Bounce's painting explores so much rich imagery, but for today we're going to be talking about a few more in detail. Bounce has painted a cloth of honour behind the Virgin and Child, highlighting Mary's divinity in contrast to St Luke, as velvet was an expensive silk and therefore reserved for the Virgin only. The cloth is dark green velvet with gold embroidered flowers and grapevines, which potentially references Italy, where velvet was made at the time. Bouts has created the appearance of velvet by layering short, wavy paint strokes to create a texture. Bouts has painted the marble to look specifically like the Verona red marble, an extremely valuable marble from northern Italy. In the 15th century, artist assistants would make paint by hand, using pigments and binding agents like linseed oil. They would then premix colours ready for a painting session. Through the wooden door to the right of the painting, the detail of the mussel shells filled with varying shades of red paint makes me wish I could step inside the painting and experience his Bouts' workshop for myself. I want to smell the rich sea salt from the mussel shells and handmade oil paints. The use of mussel shells is such a beautiful detail to me, using natural objects to create and hold paint. We hope you have enjoyed learning about Bouts and his painting, St Luke Drawing the Virgin and Child, made in the workshop of Dirk Bouts the Elder. To keep up to date with all future activities, please check out the Bose Museum's social media on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.